Looks like it's almost almost 35. We'll call it 35 degrees. This is a pretty good test for these things. They're both coming out of the in they're all both coming out of room temperature and going right into a heated truck. So it should be a good test on both of them. We'll see how many cuts we can get out of them. All right, these are both 2.5 amp hour batteries. This one is a from 2014. This was the first one I bought. It came with a blower. This is the last one I bought, which was summer of 17. If you look at them, they're pretty much the same, but you can definitely tell that this one's way older. The bolts are rusted. The corners are beat up. You know. And, like, on this one, the serial number's up here on top, but on this one... It's just like a model number, Ego, 56 volt, two, oh, they're 2 amp hour, sorry. Both of these are 2 amp hour, not 2.5. But anyway, the serial number's on the inside on this one, so this is definitely, I guess you call it a first generation. I'm not sure. But this one is four and, four and change, four and a half years old, and this one's a little over a year and a half old. So we're going to do some cuts with them on the chainsaw, freshly sharpened chain, uh, consistent wood that's the same size which I haven't had yet so I'm gonna test them to see you know obviously the 17 should be better but we'll see by how much all right I figured we'd get the s10 out today whoa oh, this thing's got some power this thing's definitely got some heat too Woo! keep these batteries warm I want it to be a fair test. Eventually, hopefully, I can start restoring this. This is what uh, me and my buddy Jason had as our very first scrap rig. I think it was an 88. This one's an 87. Uh, Mitsubishi Mighty Max. Let's do a cold start. She's an old jalopy, man. Oh, man. All right, it's carbureted. Let's pump her. Come on. Oh yeah. Look at this old school tack in it, right? It looks like a calculator. I love it. <laughs> uh, yeah, she got an exhaust leak. She got no brakes. Farm truck. But she still runs. When you got an electric chainsaw, you just put your old two-stroke gas in your farm truck, right? You don't need it for your chainsaw anymore. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Organizational tip of the day. These band things, like the Live Strong stuff and cancer bands, and they're everywhere. Right? These things are awesome for keeping your ratchet straps in order. <laughs> There's nothing more I hate. And trying to pull ratchet straps out of a bag that are all tangled. All right. Like I said, this saw is from 2017. Still has the original bar. It's a little worn. You know. This thing's probably cut up about, I don't know, four or five hundred oak pallets in the past year and a half. You can see I use it. It's dirty. She rolls around the back of the truck. Right, not bad. It does, and another thing with this saw, it has never once leaked bar oil on me. It probably will now because I said it, but it hasn't done it yet. Upside down, crooked, whatever, in the back of the truck, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go grab one of the batteries out of the truck uh, that's still sitting in the heat right here. I guess we'll start out with the 14, with the older one. Like I said, this is the older one. All right. See, it says blower. Uh, spring of 14. And another complaint, I, the only complaint I really have with any of this equipment from this brand is this button. It's not a gauge. It would be nice if it was a gauge. That's probably the biggest complaint you see online. It is a pain. A lot of the equipment, you can't see the battery. 
when you're running it. This you can if you're right-handed. And when you overload it, it'll turn yellow. Or if you jam it, it'll turn red. But it's really hard to judge how much power is in there. Two degrees 35 degrees out here so that's why it cut off it takes it a minute to get warmed up if you leave these batteries in your truck where it's cold out it'll cut off probably 10 times before it'll actually run reposition a new log on there all right we're at four cuts this is white oak too of wood and I'm really putting the 200 pound gorilla to her too so I think that's 11 cuts look at that that stuff is beautiful isn't it nice hardwood I think we're at 11 I gotta measure this stuff I don't know the exact size but if I had to guess it looks like it's probably five by five by six or something starting to turn red. It's 14. I don't think it's got another one in it, but we'll try. That's it. Sometimes you give it a second. She might finish the next one. Alright, we're going to call it there on the 14. Or, I think it's 15, 16 cuts? Something like that. I'm going to have to count them. 
on the uh, the one I bought in spring of 14. All right, let's go get the other one. All right, I guess I guess we'll call that 15 cuts, right? Here's the other one. Summer 17 chainsaw, right? Green light. Let's get these out of the way so we know. strap up another one Trying to keep the pieces separated so we can see. Still green though. She's blinking. She's in the red. We're going to try one more cut and see if it'll make it throw it all the way. done we're gonna call it there we'll call that a half a cup we'll give it to him all right let's count this up well the 14 did 15 pieces and this one i think did 13 or 14 pieces 14 
Is there 15 over here? One, two, three, four. Yep, 15. So 15 pieces on the 14. And 14 pieces on the on the 17. Well, I think that says it right there. That that four and a half year old battery really didn't lose any power. Alright. If anything, it had more. Maybe these are cheaper cells in this battery. I guess that's the next step. We're gonna have to take them apart like AVE. See whether we got Samsung's or Panasonic's in there, right? But Anyway, I really love this saw. I love this whole equipment line. They had me at the blower. No pun intended, right? But I bought the leaf blower first, and they, 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 they sucked me in, man. Usually when I use this saw, I use a 5 amp hour battery on it from the push mower, which it rips, man. It really does. And I know that some of the newer models, you can get in a 6, this is a 14 inch bar. I don't know if I said that. You can get these in a 16 inch bar with a 7 amp hour battery. That's got to be the cat's ass right there, I bet. But there's something to be said about, you know, I don't know anybody messes with small equipment, man. It can be a real pain in the ass, you know. You got mixed gas, you got bar oil. I mean, you still got to put bar oil and sharpen the chain on this, but, you know, there's no plunger bowl to go bad. There's no fuel lines to crack off of it. You don't have to pull start it. You pull the trigger, it goes, you know. Is it for everybody? Probably not. If you're not in a major rush to get something done, I mean, you know, like I could bring the gas all out here and just go, 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 but you know, I'll go inside, I'll drink some, some hot cocoa, let the battery charge up for 15 minutes, come back out and chop some more, you know? For a homeowner grade or even like climbing in a tree, you know? I mean, there's no fumes, there's no heat, there's no smoke, no noise. You know, you don't need to wear ear protection. There's a lot of pluses with this stuff. And this technology is only going to get better and better and better. Still red. You know, I'm going to go grab the 5 amp hour battery and finish this job up and get some heat in the house. But I've been wanting to do that for a while and I never really had any consistent material to work with. So that was a good test. That, that tells me that, you know, the 1% uh, decline in overall power in these lithium tools is, is probably right i think it's like one percent per year which is kind of crazy if you think about it i mean i don't know if that's storage percent or actual usage but you know i've used the hell out of this 14 battery so from 2014 so i don't know some people might have had problems with these companies i haven't had a problem with them they've been completely awesome everything about it so that's my review on it i love it it's awesome all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Fully charged, 5 amp hour. I don't know, maybe you can hear the difference. Ain't a paid promotion, but this company's got a great tool.